this is the handout that you should grab for this show. However, um, I haven't really had a student challenge themselves with drawing the top and the bottom. This is just the top. So let's show you how to do both. First thing, basic shape. I would start with a circle. You want to make your form appear to be rounder than it really is because that's really going to give you a, the illusion of three-dimensional form on a flat page. I would also draw this shell pretty large on your page, about this big, or true to life at least, um, because there's a lot of lights and darks. You might be wondering, how am I going to color this in colored pencil on white paper? We're going to put a coat of watercolor down first and then white and grays and pinks on top of that. It looks really cool. Okay. Then what you want to do is find this center line in your circle. So how does that happen? Um, I would start with a series of angles because it's really hard to get an accurate curve in space. So what I'm doing is this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle. So all of those vertical angles, this is where the shell ends here. This is this is this. This gets a little longer, probably because it's towards me. And this gets really small because it's back in space. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is get the basic outline. It's easier to make an accurate straight line than it is to make an accurate curved line. Something like that. Now you add in your curves. So you can really start anywhere you want. Now, I'm going to simply just show you how to make these little, we'll call them teeth. You want to draw in your cross contour lines the way you see them. And then on those cross contour lines, you have a tooth. Here's another cross contour line, and then another tooth. And so on and so forth until you get the form. Let's go.